today we are here to talk about something that's very important something that's a driving factor in our daily lives probability probability it's what determines well the favorable outcomes versus the total amount of outcomes it basically says the it's the odds of something happening every time you flip a card uh flip a coin deal a deck of cards or roll a dice probability is at play and today that's exactly what we are going to be learning about there are many ways we can explain probability but the best way is definitely by using simple real life examples so today i will be using a coin a deck of cards and a dice to explain probability let's start with the coin the coin has two faces the heads and the tails this means there are two total outcomes that means there are only two possible things that can happen when i flip a dice it'll either land on a heads or it will land on tails flip a coin we basically choose a specific side right a he- the heads or the tails that's one so there is one favored outcome whenever you flip a coin and there are two total outcomes therefore there is a one in two chance that you will get your favored outcome therefore it's 1 upon 2 or 50% every time you flip a coin of course there may be some external factors that influence this the uh, suppose the weight of each side may be different or something but in an ideal situation there would be an exact 50% distribution now let's move on to something slightly more complex the dice the dice has six faces with different numbers 1 2 3 4 and 5 and um and 6 and 6 so a dice basically every time you roll a dice there is a 1 in 6 chance that it rolls onto a favored outcome if you've chosen one specific side this is the same principle just with a greater number of sides so the total outcomes will be 6 and your desired outcome will be whatever you choose now you could even say you want even numbers as your desired outcome so there are three even numbers on a dice 2 4 and 6 so every time you roll a dice there are there's a 1 in 2 chance that you roll a dice you could take any you could even take two numbers in which case it would be a 1 in 3 chance i mean that you roll on your specific dice now moving when we talk about cards there are 52 different possible outcomes for each card in the deck now as you see i've just pulled two cards the 8 of diamonds and the ace of hearts there was a 1 in 52 chance of me pulling the first card and there was a 1 in 51 chance of me pulling the second card the chances of me pulling the card had increased as the total number of cards in the deck have decreased this occurring is also known as an independent or dependent event we'll just talk about this in a bit dependent and dependent events so what is an independent or a dependent event an independent event is basically something insignificant like the size of the dice no matter the big dice or the small dice if you roll it the total outcomes are still going to be 6 and your favored outcomes are still going to be the same therefore the odds of rolling a specific side are going to always remain the same on the other hand dependent events are completely different for example suppose i shuffle a card and i pick out one card i have taken out the two of clubs i have taken it out and it's removed from the deck therefore there are now 51 cards left in the deck so the odds of me pulling any other card have now increased from 1 in 52 to 1 in uh, 1 in 51 now uh, i can keep repeating this with other cards um also what's going to happen is now there's a 0% chance of me pulling the 2 of clubs as that is no longer present in the deck now as you can see i'm shuffling it again and i'm removing it so now the queen of the queen of uh queen of diamonds the king of hearts and the 10 of clubs 
these are the four cards that are no longer going to be able to be pulled from the deck. Therefore, there's a 0% chance of these cards being pulled. And the uh, odds of other cards being pulled have now increased from 1 in 52 to 1 in 48. This is a dependent variable as it affects the, um, uh, it affects the probability of me pulling a certain card. How exactly do we calculate probability? Well, this is actually much easier than you think. So what do we ex exactly have in probability, right? Probability is the favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. That's it. So for example, uh, we have a dice and all of our favorable outcomes are the even numbers on the dice. So two, four, six. So that's three favorable outcomes and six total outcomes. So all we have to do is take the favorable outcomes, which is three and divide it by six. So three upon six, which gives us one upon two. So there is a one in two chance that a roll will land on an even number. Now on the other and we can even multiply this fraction by 100 to give us a decimal value which in this case will be 50%, making it extremely easy for us to quantify the percentage chance of something really happening. The same thing can be done for a deck of cards. Say there are 52 cards in a deck and all our, and our favorable outcomes are all the aces in a deck, which is a total number of four. So our favorable outcomes, which is N equals four, and the total outcomes, which is capital N, equals 52. So we take 4 and we divide it by 52, which gives us 1 upon 13. So there is a 1 in 13 chance of us pulling an ace from the deck. We can then further multiply this by 100, which will give us a decimal uh, percentage value on exactly how likely it is for us to pull an ace. Um, this gives us approximately 7.69 percentage. And this is basically how we calculate decimals. It's I mean, how we calculate percent um, probability. It's extremely easy. All you have to know is it's the total number of outcomes up, uh, divided by the favorable outcomes. So N A, which is favorable outcomes, upon N, ca N, uh, N capital which is the total outcomes. It's extremely simple. Now, let's talk about where we use probability in our real lives. You probably don't know this, but weather is forecasted using probability. Stock markets are predicted using probability uh, models. So it's all around us. Probability can be used by you to make better decisions. And it can teach you to weigh all your options and learn to quantify the odds of something happening. This can help you make more informed decisions. So I hope you understood the concept of probability, how we calculate it and how you can use it in your real life, in your real life. Thank you so much for watching this video.